What's up, O-Doers, and welcome back. Every now and then, a customer comes to us with a request for something a little different, like a custom piece of furniture that maybe you can't find anywhere. When that happens, we don't just say no, we switch gears and use what's called the engineering to order approach. ETO, as we call it, lets us go beyond just selling products. We're able to offer our design expertise, our engineering know-how, and our manufacturing capabilities all bundled together. It's a great way to increase value, boost sales, and most of all, deepen customer trust. Now you might be wondering, isn't this kind of like make to order? They're definitely related, but here's the key difference. It all comes down to the design. With make to order or MTO, the design is already locked in. It's a special product that we don't keep in stock. So once a customer places an order, all we have to do is follow the blueprint and build it to spec. But with ETO or engineering to order, there is no blueprint, at least not yet. Our design team works with the customer to come up with a design all from scratch. That means ETO projects are more collaborative and more detailed. It also requires us to bill customers for design consultation. And that closer relationship, it can lead to stronger partnerships, repeat business, and just word of mouth referrals, all because we took that time to build exactly what the customer needed. So how does this all come together? In an ETO workflow, nothing gets made until the order is placed and the design is finalized. Only once we fully understand the customer's requirement, then we can move forward with engineering, production, and of course, delivery. So let's jump into Odoo and see how engineering to order works all in action. So for ETO projects, there are a few things we need to set up. First, let's head to the accounting application. And from here, we're going to click configuration followed by settings and just scroll all the way down to our analytics section. Here in our analytics section, we just want to make sure that the analytic accounting feature is ticked and enabled. This feature is crucial because it lets us keep all project related costs like components and labor costs all organized in one place. Now, in ETO projects, it's extremely common to have designers, engineers, and reviewers collaborating closely with the customer. Since these team members are billing for time, we need to make sure that we're capturing the costs accurately. So let's also hop into the employees application and check out each of our staff members that have a timesheet cost set up under their profiles HR tab. For example, we have our engineer here, Cherry Nelson. And if we click into a settings tab here, we can see that he costs about $50 an hour. This will come into play when we manufacture the customer's custom order. Now let's make sure we can actually track their work hours. So we're going to head back to our home screen and click into our project application. From here, I just need to click on configuration and then settings again. And here we just want to double check that timesheets is ticked and enabled. With that turned on, our teams can log their time directly against project tasks, which is super handy for both billing and analysis. Next, to ensure we can invoice on timesheets properly, we're going to click into sales here on the left sidebar. And we're just going to scroll down to our invoicing section. And here in our invoicing section, we just want to make sure that invoice what is delivered is the setting that's ticked and enabled. Now that the groundwork is in place, it's time to create a project template that we can reuse for ETO cases. So I've already made one here and I've named it ETO Design Service. This project contains two tasks, which is design and review. And these are the tasks that our team uses to track the progress of each ETO project. And since we're selling our design services throughout this project, we need to link it to a product in Odoo. So for that, we're just going to jump into our sales application, click on products, followed by products once again. And here we'll see that I've prepared a service called ETO Design Service. This product is what we'll use to charge customers for designing their custom orders. And we set up the product type here as a service. And we've also priced this at $500 an hour. Yes, it's a little costly. But now here's the cool part. I've configured it so that a new project is automatically created every time that this product is ordered through this create on order field here and set as project. 
It's also linked to the template that we just looked at, ETO Design Service. So every order kicks off with a fresh ETO project with the structure and stages that we're ready to use. And just like that, we're all set up to engineer to order a completely new product at the request of a customer, of course. So let's get into it, shall we? Now that everything's in place, here in the sales app, we'll place an order for our custom ETO project and show you how the sales design and manufacturing process is all tracked in Odoo. So I'm going to start by creating a new quotation by clicking new. And this project is for our good friend, Michael Beebe. So I'm going to go ahead and type his name in here and hit create. He's a new customer who's requesting a custom built table. So I'm going to click add a product. And here we're going to add our ETO design service. We asked about the design specs and we'll just say based off of similar projects that we've had in the past, we estimate that this design will take about 10 hours. So I'm going to quote him here now. Once that's all good, we could just confirm this order. And I can see that Odoo has automatically created an analytic account. And I could view that by clicking these extra dots here and clicking analytic distribution. And look at that. There it is right here for sales order 49, which matches up. And of course, if that column isn't available for you, just follow what I did and click the sliders and add that in. The analytic account is named after the sales order number and the customer, which makes it extremely easy to track. And this analytic account right here is definitely something worth remembering. You'll also notice some new smart buttons have appeared here at the top. One for a project. We also have two tasks. And if we click into the project smart button here, here the project is automatically labeled with the sales order number as well as the product name. So everything stays organized and easy to trace. And if we take a look here at the settings tab and scroll down, we can see that this is already linked to the same analytic account. That keeps our sales, services, and project costs all linked together. So since Odoo's apps are fully integrated, I could manage the entire project and its tasks from right here in the sales order. But for a better view of the overall project pipeline, I'm going to head over to our project app. And now that we've checked our project's details, we're ready to kick off the design and review process. So here is our ETO design service project that we just created for Michael BB. So let's go ahead and open it up. So inside we see the tasks that were automatically generated according to how we configured the ETO template. Here at Stealthy Wood, we'll typically have a designer slash engineer assigned to the project. And then our designer slash engineer will then create a design based off of the customer's requirements. Then the lead product engineer, AKA me, will review the design and create a bill of materials before passing it over to our manufacturing team. So let's say our designer slash engineer, Cherry, has been working on a product design. So we're gonna move this card here into in progress. So to log his time spent and eventually bill it, we're going to click into this timesheets tab right here and click add a new line. Here I'm going to change this to Cherry Nelson instead of myself. And we're going to add a quick description and we'll just say reviewing customer request. And that only took him an hour. And we're also going to add another line here, put this for Cherry, and this time it's for designing a really, really, really cool table. And we're going to mark this down for seven hours. And once this is all complete, we're just going to save this entry manually just to make sure we have everything here, and we'll move this stage into done. Then we'll use the breadcrumbs to go back to the project. So next up is the review task. And as the lead engineer, it's my turn to weigh in. And just like before, we're going to move this into the in progress stage. And then followed by that, we'll click into our timesheets tab. And this is so we can log my hours this time. So we're going to click add a line. We'll leave this on me. And I'm just going to put 
design review. And believe it or not, this was a long review and it took me four hours. So we'll go ahead and save this once again, mark this as done and move it into the done stage. And with the design and review stages wrapped up, we're ready to move this onto the next phase of the process. Now that we've finalized the design, it's time to put the product specs into the bill of materials here in Odoo so we can hand it off to our skilled manufacturing team. But before we do that, let's set up our work center costs. So the costs to keep our lights on in our shop floor get factored into the cost of the overall project. So we're gonna head over to the manufacturing application. Then I'll click into configuration followed by work centers. Now, if you don't see work centers in your menu, just a heads up, you'll need to enable them in the manufacturing settings like we've done in the work centers basic video. But here I've already set up two work centers, one for cutting and one for assembly. And I've already assigned a cost per hour to each. And that's important because these hours will directly feed into the total cost of manufacturing. Next, let's take a look at the bill of materials or BOM. We're going to head over to products followed by bill of materials. And here we have several ETO product bombs listed here, but we're going to click into the blank one that's also referenced as template. All of our ETO products use this one as a starting point. And creating one ahead of time isn't required, but it keeps all of our custom design projects linked together and helps us save time when we have a handy template for future products. So to customize it for our current project, I'll go ahead and duplicate this. And now I'm gonna change this template reference to say SO0049 which is in reference to the sales order number for Michael Beebe. And I'll also click into the miscellaneous tab right here. Here, I'll assign the analytic account that we created earlier for the sales order. And we just have to add it here in the project section. And this will add the costs of the MO to our project and keep all of the related costs in one place. Now we can start adjusting the components to match the customer specifications. So we're just gonna click into the components tab here. Here I'll click add a line and the customer Michael Beebe has a really unique request and wants a maple wood table with seven stainless steel legs. You know what they say, the customer's always right in terms of taste, I guess. So with that said, we'll add the maple wood table and then let's go ahead and add seven stainless steel legs to this. Now it's also important to make sure that your component costs are set up correctly. If we click into our Mabel tabletop product through this link here, we're able to see that this component costs us $250. This is important because these costs are also added to the expenses section of this ETO project. Now, if I use the breadcrumbs to get back to this bill of materials, the component costs will always be reflective of the quantity that the bomb is requesting. This ensures that the amount consumed in the operation becomes the total component costs of the operation. So here over in the operations tab, I'll adjust the timing as well. For cutting, I'm gonna keep the duration to 60 minutes, but for assembly, we'll also upload a PDF worksheet for the assembly employee to follow. And I can do that simply by clicking into here. On the assemble operation, we're just gonna add our worksheet here by selecting PDF and selecting upload file. Then we'll just choose our PDF. And once it's uploaded and looks good, I'm just going to click save so our employees can reference this during the manufacturing process. And just like the components, you can always add or remove operations here based on what the customer needs. It's flexible, just like the ETO process itself. All right, we're finally ready to create the manufacturing order. So let's head to operations followed by manufacturing orders. On the MO page, I'm just going to click new in the upper left-hand corner. 
And since we're producing one custom ETO table, I'll start by selecting the product, ETO product. Here, I also want to make sure that we're using the correct bill of materials. And we're going to make sure we're using the one with sales order 49 in reference. So we'll hit this option here and select sales order 49 ETO project. That way, we're pulling in the exact configuration that we set up earlier. Now is also a good time to quickly review the components and operations just to confirm that everything looks right. Looks good to me. And once that all checks out, we'll go ahead and click confirm to confirm the manufacturing order. Next, let's hop over to our work orders tab. Here I'll say that all the operations, cutting and assembly were completed exactly as planned. So I'm just gonna click produce all. And when I do, this completes the manufacturing process for this ETO product. You'll also notice that Odoo gave us a unique serial number right here. And as you can see, it's labeled as serial number 008. Let's also remember that for later. Now, heading back to the components tab, I can double check and see that we've used all the quantities and materials here in the consumed column. This ensures all the directions for our one of a kind table has been followed. And that's it. We've gone from a custom sales order to a fully manufactured ETO product. Now that our product is finished, let's head back to the sales order to wrap things up. So we'll just hit our home screen here, hop into the sales application and select our sales order with Michael Beebe. And now it's time to charge the customer for the product that we just manufactured. So I'm gonna select add a product, select ETO product, and then for the unit price here, we're gonna charge him $2,000. Then I'll go ahead and click save. And you'll notice a new smart button has appeared, showing that we've got one delivery task to complete. So let's go ahead and do that now and click into this delivery smart button. And on the product line, we're just gonna select this hamburger icon right here. And we just wanna verify that we are using the right product to deliver. And in this case, it's the ETO product with the serial number 008. And once that's been added to the delivery order, you can just click save here and then validate. And just like that, the custom product has been delivered, closing the loop on our engineering to order workflow in Odoo. Now we need to invoice the customer. So let's go back to the sales order through the breadcrumbs here at the top. And now we're just going to click create invoice. And I'll also use the regular invoice option followed by create draft. So observant Odooers may remember that we originally added 10 hours to the sales order. However, since we worked a total of 12 hours, Odoo recognized the extra hours and updated it on the invoice. That being said, this invoice looks good, so I'm going to click confirm. Last thing, since I've completed the sales flow, let's review the project details in the project app. I'll select the three dots in the right corner of our ETO project, and then I'll select dashboard under the reporting section. Here I can see all of the costs associated with the project from the revenues, costs, and overall profit at the bottom. And that's a wrap. With just a bit of setup, engineering to order can be a game-changing strategy, giving your teams the tools they need to build exactly what your customers want while keeping your costs and revenue crystal clear in one space. Thanks for watching and remember when it comes to custom manufacturing, it's not can you do it, it's oh do it.